In their most recent Direct, Nintendo announced that they would be releasing DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This came out of the blue and was something very unexpected, as this game has not once gotten any sort of DLC or added content since the release of the Switch version back in 2017. I've seen a lot of discourse around Mario Kart 8 DLC versus focusing on Mario Kart 9, but when you think of the actual decision behind it, it makes a lot more sense to go with the DLC option, and I'm going to give you a breakdown on why. Mario Kart 8 is one of Nintendo's most popular games of all time, ranking at the number one most sold game on the Nintendo Switch, with over 43 million units sold. With the Nintendo Switch itself having sold over 103 million units, it's safe to say that almost half of Switch owners own a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But let's talk about monetary value. Currently, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has 48 tracks in total. The DLC will be adding an additional 48 new tracks by the time all the packs are released. With this, the game will have a total of 96 tracks. So 25 US dollars to essentially double Mario Kart 8's content as opposed to paying a full $60 for a brand new game, which in hindsight would probably only have about a third of the content. Now, if we're going to talk about original content, Mario Kart games by default usually release with four new cups and four retro cups. So a new Mario Kart game, we would get 16 brand new tracks. With the DLC, while we wouldn't get any new tracks, in a way, we kinda are, both in the form of remakes of old tracks, which usually have a whole new feel to them, as they adjust certain features and give it a fresh and remastered look. On top of that, there's already confirmed that tracks from Mario Kart Tour will be featured, so you could make the argument that these are new tracks, as they've never been featured in a mainline Mario Kart game. Other than tracks, a new game would most likely mean a slight performance upgrade, new characters, new cards, maybe some new items, and the rumored new twist. Releasing this game on the Switch would probably not even be worth it at this point, as the increase in performance and graphics would not be that much better than the current Mario Kart game, which still looks and plays extremely smoothly despite it already being over 5 years old. Not to mention that with Mario Kart 8, Nintendo has pretty much mastered the formula in terms of gameplay and I really don't see it changing much in the future of Mario Kart titles. Pushing Mario Kart 9 to the Switch Pro slash whatever they end up naming it would make the most sense, as a newer and more powerful console would allow an increase in graphics and performance that would be drastic enough to make it worth a whole new game.